it's funny because when I first started doing uh, singing on social media, nobody cared. Yeah. And it, it wasn't attention grabbing enough, but my pen is lethal. Yeah. So I said, I'm gonna make parodies and make them funny, uh -huh. you know? And then I started doing that and there was a video I did about turning 30 and basically saying 30 is when you start to die. And it was to Britney Spears, uh, hit me baby one more time. And it got like 26 million views on Facebook. And that's when I really knew, I was like, yikes, this is, I can, I can really do this. You so know? You, you've had a video, 26, 26 million views. Million? Is that, that your, your most? One? That's probably my most viral video. That's the first time, that's not the first time I went viral, but that's the most viral video I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And it was like, that was four years ago. So, I mean, I love, I love when the transitions happen yeah. themselves. So over here at Skit Guys, we have a, a portion where we uh, call, what is it, Going Viral. Going Viral, yes. And so yes. you're saying that's your most viral video, right? It got the most views. Most yeah. views, but your most viral video we about to play. And while they're getting that ready, do me a favor. Explain what we about to watch, like what? Yeah, what Child, we... you about to see me experiencing symptoms of mental illness in real time because <laughs> I, you know, I'll be at the house chilling and, you know, I hear sounds and, and songs and I just change the lyrics in my head. And next thing you know, I mean, I was just playing at the at the computer and I was, you know, these BBLs killing y'all. And I don't know what made me turn it into a gospel song, but I was yep, like... See, that's, and hey, so that's you play the piano as well. I don't actually play the piano. Oh, Word. I don't play any instruments, but you would think that I do because I incorporate them in my music sometimes. Oh, I'm Man, let's, run, let's, run this, let's run <laughs> oh, this video. Killing y'all. Thighs don't match. Well, 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 well. Turn yeah, to your neighbor and say, yeah. These BBLs killing y'all. Oh, yeah. That's good, church. Thighs don't match. What a shame. This my shame. That look like it hurts. That look like it hurts. These BBLs killing y'all. These BBLs killing y'all. These BBLs killing y'all. These BBLs killing y'all. That thing was great. That thing went crazy on TikTok too. It went crazy everywhere. I couldn't, I couldn't go without hearing it. It was, it was all on radio stations. It was people was blowing my inbox up. I was like, Lord, what have I done? And then you know, that's not the, even the original video. I did like a. It was a standard YouTube instrumental that I pulled, and I just. It sounded really churchy, and I just sang it. And DJ Sway, remix guy, hit me up. He said, he said, yo, send me the, just the raw vocals. <laughs> and he put it on the R&B track. And next thing I know, it's on iTunes, and you can stream it on all platforms. On all platforms. Yeah. No, it's on the <laughs> Next Bob, thing baby. I know, Plex, it's right available right I'm down in, here at this I'm link. I'm in my room, <laughs> minding my little business. The link, link. You, can, you can legitimately search these BBLs killing y'all, and my face and name will pop up. On all platforms. I mean, you know, with the song going so viral, mm -hmm. like, what kind of like breeze back did you get from? Did you get like all love? Did you get oh. all hate? Did you get a little mixture? Like, how was that kind of response? Yeah, it was a mixture. The thing about going viral is, first, people love you, and then that second wave of going viral is people criticizing. And so there were a lot of people who said that I was body shaming and all this stuff. And um, of course, I never feel like that. Mine, I, I, the reason I'm able to stay free and clear and sleep well at night is because my intention is never to hurt anybody, embarrass anybody, uh, make anybody feel any negative kind of way. I'm, this is purely for fun. Uh, I don't know you individually when yeah, I'm writing yeah, these songs. Yeah, you know, yeah. most people loved it, thought it was funny. Um, a lot of people, you know, like I said, got offended. But at the end of the day, you know, cosmetic surgery can. You know, any any surgery really yeah. is a risk. So um, I, I'm also a health and fitness nut at this point in my life. So I tell people, like, if you can go to the gym and do it, just go to the gym and do it. Because it's nothing is worth my life. Not, you know, not that. So. Do you do you see uh, a lot of us big girls supporting you? Or do, is, do you think, because it's competition with women. All the time, yeah. Naturally, mm -hmm. especially as black women. Not sure mm -hmm. why. Well, we know why. Mm -hmm. But, you know, who give you the most hate? You know what? I get the most hate online from black men. Crazy. Word. Talk, talk yeah. about it. Um, and it's because, you know, like I may make a joke, uh, like a, a lot of the videos where I say, oh, you finna do this, ain't it? There was one in particular recently. It got um, 
I, I, it got a, a significant amount of views, but it's like when the sex isn't good. And you know, I'm just, you know, the character that I play, she has social anxiety. People are not reading into, yeah. like, I'm not laughing because it's funny, I'm laughing because it's a very uncomfortable, uncomfortable situation. Right. And a lot of people deal with this. Mm -hmm. So the sex isn't good, and you know, I'm trying to, like, I know I don't want to hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. I know I don't want to cause an argument, and I might still like you, but I'm finna have to cheat on you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, like at the end of the day. And so there were, you know, black men were in the comments, you know, they were, these are the kind of women you don't want, you know. You don't want to deal with people. They passed around about, you know, they 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 show their insecurities so boldly in the comments mm -hmm. when you say anything that triggers them. It's like, bro, I don't know you from Adam, the man in the moon, Mickey Mouse, Tom and Jerry. Mm -hmm. But you came here to let me know that this in particular hurt your feelings. And it had literally nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. So um, it's always crazy to get the feedback from that. They call them uh, incels. They're involuntarily celibate. That's what well, that means. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, so, fellas, come on. Y'all yeah. gotta get y'all something. So I got a lot of people in the comments that do stuff like that. But like I said, my intentions are always pure. I'm trying to entertain, and this is, this is something that I do because I like yeah. to do it. So I'm not, you know, trying to man bash or nothing like that.